welcome to the sideboard here at Grand Prix Miami for a special edition of Quick Questions. <laughs> I am Nick Miller alongside Brad Nelson and Corey Baumeister, brothers. They have been the story of the tournament all along. Corey has played on the Pro Tour long ago from 2008, roughly 2010-ish. Brad, player of the year, you know who he is. But for anyone that knows Brad, he has told everyone about you, Corey. He's yeah. told everyone that you're just amazing, better than he is most of the time. But you haven't played many GPs, so the, the focus has kind of been on you guys this weekend. And uh, spoiler alert, Corey is in the top eight. You've played in like three GPs, and I want to know, Brad, how did you convince him to play? And Corey, why haven't you been playing so much? Well, it was easy to convince him to come to this tournament because after the Players' Champs, I went back to North Dakota, and I was on, I was on a pretty big winner's high. And I was like, we, we were out uh, for a couple beers, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to fly you to whatever GP you want to go to in 2015, whichever one. And Corey's like, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the dead of winter, and North Dakota's like frigid right now. <laughs> and he's like, I want to go see the ocean. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Liquored them up a little bit to get back up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he convinced you to come. Mm -hmm. What was the process in like preparing for the event and obviously playing the green white devotion deck that was a huge talk of the tournament? Well, um, all right, my, I, I live in the real world, you know, back at home I go, I'm a full time student, mm -hmm. I work 40 hours a week. So my testing, it, it's not like I'd been playing a lot, right. you know, I mean, I I'd played a couple limited tournaments and stuff before, but I really just started testing, I would say a week and a half ago yep. when I talked to him and tested a couple right. decks out and got to the green white. It was almost like right away what we got into which is something i really needed because i didn't have the time you know after work after school in between homework yeah and which, every... which to be fair with uh when he was uh testing his only loss on moto in about like 20 matches was bbd in the mirror <laughs> in the stone cold 75 right, yeah, mirror so yeah. oh we've learned about the green white mirror here at grand prix Miami. <laughs> <laughs> so needless to say we're kind of happy we didn't have to watch you guys play in the last round yeah, yeah. yeah. me both yeah, yeah. Me both. leading yeah. up through the tournament though what were you guys' emotions going through? You know, you were slowly climbing up. You were the only person without a loss going into the last round. How did the tournament feel? Well, I think um, for me, it felt incredibly different than when I was on the Pro Tour before. I've been off for a while. I just, you know, a lot more confident. I think the age gave me a little more, more maturity. And right. I, I felt a lot more comfortable at this tournament. And yeah, it just, it, it really was a different feel. And it's the first time I day two to GP. I mean, for me, it was like uh, the moment that, that sticks in my mind is after round 14, I won. My opponent said, you know, good luck in top eight. I'm like, I don't know if you can draw. And he's like, no, I'm pretty sure you can. And regardless if that's true or not, like, I still just felt this gut-wrenching pain knowing that Corey was, like, playing out his match. And, right. like, there was no celebration. I was just, like, wanting him to win. I wanted us both to be in different, you know, matchups and, and, and uh, both make top eight. But it, it's been a weird tournament just because, like, it, when you're, like, invested in someone you love uh, in a tournament, like, your, your tournament only goes so far. Like, right. you, you are definitely more concerned about theirs than yours. Yeah, and I, I want to add to that. It's like, whenever my round would get done, you know, I'd be like, okay, nice, I won. But immediately check my phone, Brad, you yeah. win, you know? And then we get the high five out the room. Yep. Like, that's, that's, that's what I love about Pro Tour, and that's why I wanted to try to do this again. Like, yeah. Right, these are the stories we like. I like seeing Brad, you know, win a match and then immediately just be more nervous yeah. after the match, <laughs> waiting to see the result of your yeah. match. Yeah, yeah. and it's vice versa. Yeah. So you end up, you're 12 2 Brad, your X2, yeah, thinking you, we got a couple of winning ends for both of us, we might get into the top eight together. Round 15 pairings, you see your names lined up against each other. What, what, what is yeah. going on in your head? Uh, well, well, we knew we weren't playing. You know? Yeah. So we rolled the dice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. And cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Judges, that did not happen. No. Uh, I mean, it was it was a situation where all I wanted for him was to make top eight, and uh, I obviously wanted to too. Like I want to keep the the streak running and and yada yada. But like the goal was to bring Corey down, have a good time, get him back on the pro tour, and. To me, there was no decision. Like, it was tough because, like, the points could be good for Platinum, but if I just lose in top eight, which I usually do, uh, it's only one extra point. And to where the, the high end of him getting to play in Pro Tours again compared to the, the high of me, you know, having a better chance at Platinum but still not guaranteeing it one way or another uh, just meant that, you know, 
I had to give it to him. Yeah, the one thing the one thing I wanted about it is I wanted it to be a best option for a win win mm -hmm. and the best option to get it all. You yeah. know? And I want I want him to get platinum so it was it's really tough, you know. There's not there's not a for a second when I came down here that I thought when I signed my slip for the last round to go into the top eight that I would feel very sad and right. you know disappointed that the circumstance had to be what it is. Yeah, and I mean it, it hurt a lot when it happened, but like I'm off it. <laughs> like I'm, I'm over it. The, like the most awkward thing <laughs> is Brad flew me up here for oh, yeah, this tournament for round fifteen. Yeah, good guy Brad Allison, right here. Yeah, last flew him here to concede to him into top last eight. Last yeah. time I am getting a flight in my life from Brad. I mean, <laughs> the amount of karma that I should have. Like, if I fall yeah, downstairs, I yeah. should just float up. Yeah, like <laughs> pretty much the tournament drawn up exactly how you want it. Then I mean, I mean, other than you both getting in, like for the result, as good as you can get. Basically. Yeah, actually, yeah. the last round is the worst that could happen in my eyes. You know, no, I'd, I'd I rather mean, we both try. No, I mean, we, we could have both, both lost. Fail, like, if we both, if we both lose, I still think we at least both had a shot. You know. I, Whatever. It's close. You're it's gonna close. win a trophy and then you can't hang like I can't hang over a GP win over your head. Yeah. 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 yeah that's true. That's yeah. true. I still got the states title. Yeah, he's got four of them. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Well, he gives me, you know, crap about that all the time. Mm -hmm. It might be Brad's last round, but for you, you have a top eight ahead of you. Yes. So I hope you're prepared. Good luck. Brad, Corey, thanks for sitting down with me. It was an awesome spectacle Wait, to watch a, you guys. Ask us a quick question real quick. It's a quick question. I already did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned to the top eight and stay tuned to StarCityGames.com for the rest of GP Miami.